Powered by the official car of CES. Go to facebook.com slash Ford Fusion to share your opinion about the all new 2013 Ford Fusion. Patrick Norton here for Texel at CES 2012. That's uh, not 2012 for the nice people on Twitter. Free Pettis, maker by industries. I had no idea this is your third year. I, I see you guys and I'm like, oh, this is so subversive. It's maker by in the middle of the, because a lot of the stuff in this corner of the LVCC is like future landfill of America candidate. <laughs> I, I don't want to be cruel, but there's, there's some crap here. It's going to go straight to the round file. And you guys enabling people for a while, right? We've, we've, you guys have seen maker by. We've had them on. We've had, well, actually, we had uh, Will Smith, Tested.com. They've come on. They've showed it off, talked about how building it. And you have a new product and your first award of three. Yes. What's going on? You know, I think we just hit something. We've been here. This is our third year. And we were, when we first started, we were actually the farthest booth away in the corner of this giant room. And now we're working our way forward. And we've got a, we're here at the Consumer Electronics Show with an anti consumerist consumer product. Instead of buying things, you can just make or bought them. Right. So I think, I think it's time for the world to you know, take the power of manufacturing in their own living room and make the things they need. And for the kids of tomorrow to learn how to make the things that will solve the problems of the next generation. It's pretty awesome. This is the MakerBot, the replicator, um, a single feed and dual feed version, so you can actually create multiple colors inside of an object. And it's like bread loaf size, 8.9 by 5.7 by 5.9 inches is essentially, what do you call it, the platform, the pallet, the table? Volume. Build, volume. Build volume. Yeah, that's how big you can make things, size of a loaf of bread. And it's pretty amazing. You can glue this stuff together. What, what is the plastic that's actually being used here? So there's two kinds of plastic we like to use. One is ABS, which is a really traditional, it's, what Lego, it's a traditional plastic, it's what Lego is made out of. So it's really durable. It's good for making gears and movable parts. The other one is called PLA, and it's made from corn, and it's beautiful, it's clear, and it smells like waffles when you make things with it. So you're basically, you come up with your design, you punch it in, you put it on an SD card. I noticed there's a display on the replicator. Yeah. This is a, there's a couple big things about this one. One is that you can make giant big things. The other one is you can make things in two colors. And the third one is just how easy we've made it. We're really trying to make it friendly so that, you know, you can leave the kids with it and they can make stuff. I, I notice as long as they don't stick their fingers under it and get the burning plastic sensation. Yeah, it, they'll be fine. I was going to say, it's a problem that probably solves itself pretty quick now that I think <laughs> about it. If this one, are you... This is, you guys are assembling this one in Brooklyn. I don't have to assemble it in my house anymore. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, this is huge for us. This is, I think, why we won the Consumer Electronics Show Emerging Tech Award, because we showed up with a machine that you buy, you get it in a box, you take it out, you snap uh, the extruder on top, you push a button, and you're printing. So it's really, we, we're, we're moving from a, a DIY, everybody has to make everything themselves, to, uh, we're moving from that market to, we're including that because you still get to make anything you want, but we're, we're opening it up so that parents, teachers, engineers, and just ordinary people who want to live in the future can make everything they need with a MakerBot. Not everybody wants to spend 12 hours snapping together the kit so they can spend 12 hours of every day for the rest of their life making stuff with it. So that makes, I mean, you'll, question. You'll be making things in 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I mean, it's so awesome. I, I, got, I got to ask. Assembled in Brooklyn, obviously in the USA, are all the components sourced in the USA? You know, we a lot of our components, everything we can get locally, we do. The electronics are made in China, the motors are made in China, because those are just really hard to find locally. But all the rods, pulleys, gears come out of Long Island, laser cut parts, it's nice. We can call people up, make things happen. So, dude. CNET, Best of CES 2012 for Emerging Technology. You won another award for Popular Mechanics, another award for Popular Science. Are you guys going to go out and rage tonight? Yeah, I mean, I, we're going to, we might have to have a cocktail or two to just <laughs> celebrate it. And besides, these, these awards are not just for us. I mean, the machine won the award, and so that we, we're really happy about that. But this is the first open source hardware that I know of that has won a best emerging tech award at CES. So everybody right now who does many, you know, who designs things, it, this, this, is a, this is pretty exciting for open source hardware. And it's also just exciting for companies that are American companies that, you know, it shows we know how to make things here. Isn't that a beautiful thought, making stuff in the United States? You know, makes me happy. Let's, let's bring it on back.
it's a good thing. $15.99 for the single color version, $17.99 for the two color version. That means you get to strap two reels on the back with the extruder. And you know what? It's going to be available in six weeks. Order it at MakerBot. The 2013 Ford Fusion features lane keeping system, which is comprised of two subsystems, lane keeping aid and lane keeping warning. It works by using a camera in the back of the rear view mirror that identifies the lines on the road. If the vehicle begins to drift outside the identified lane, the electronic powered assistance steering will vibrate the steering wheel similar to rumble strips. If the vehicle continues to drift after the warning, the e-pass will then apply steering torque to direct the vehicle back in the lane. Thanks to Ford for powering Texilla CES coverage.